Vispack SSS Collection is a new and unique material library that specializes in translucent materials. And as anyone who's ever tried to create these kind of materials before will know, they can be extremely fiddly and time consuming to set up. And so the idea behind this collection is to save you time and hours of endless tweaking. So let's see it in action. Once you've installed the kit, just go up to your kits button on the top toolbar and just look for this orange shader ball button because that's where you'll find the VizPack SSS collection. Click on the button and that's going to open a preset browser which you can drag to pin. Now the collection comes in two flavors. There's the physical shaders and these are for people using older versions of Modo, going back to version 901 and later. And then there's the principled shaders and these are for people using newer versions of Modo that support the principled shader. And these principled shaders are also optimized for use with the new MPath renderer, although they will also work just fine with the default renderer. So I'm going to drag the amber material into my dragon material and let's just see what it looks like once preview updates. And as you can see, we instantly have a really nice looking and believable amber material. Let's go and try something else. I'll click on the little orange icon once again, and let's try turning our dragon into a boiled sweet. And once again, that looks great. You can see there's a lot of variation going through the form depending on how thick the mesh is. Let's try another material. This time, let's try the candle wax material. And once again, you can see we're getting really nice results with a lot of variation in the shading as it reacts to the light. Let's try a different preset. This time, maybe it would be nice if the dragon was made of chocolate. And this time, obviously, the subsurface effect is more subtle, but you can see that it's a really great way to instantly create a believable chocolate material. Let's try another material. This time, I'm going to pick a jade. And once again, you can see that it's an effortless way to get a great result. Let's try something a bit more artificial this time. Let's open the collection once again. And maybe this time, I'm going to try something like a soft rubber material. And you can see that this reacts really nicely to the light, giving really interesting results. And of course, you can come and tweak these colors if you wish to. So let's just click on the dragon in preview to open this material in the shader tree. And let's go to the material transparency and play with the subsurface color itself. So I'm going to move the slider slightly more towards the green. And with that done, let's dismiss the popover and wait for preview to clear up. And you can also control the blend between these two colors using the subsurface amount. So for example, if you wanted less of the translucency, you could reduce the subsurface amount. Let's halve it to 25. And that gives a more solid plastic kind of feel. Or alternatively, let's increase the subsurface amount to 75%. And that's going to give us a more see-through latex kind of feel. And so while the purpose of this library is to save you time, I do also encourage you to dig into the materials and tweak the settings in order to create your own variations. So let's take a look at what you actually get when you buy the collection. If I switch to bridge, I've got thumbnails of all 50 materials on display. And these range from natural materials to man-made materials. There's food, there's liquids, there's stones, plastics, and rubbers. So if you want to spend more time being creative and less time tweaking shader settings, then this collection is for you. And remember, if you can't find the exact material you want, you can always use one of these presets as a starting point. So take the guesswork out of shading with this pack SSS collection.